guys, this is Jasa Habatai and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, I am going to make a summary about chapter 8 entitled Subnetting IP Networks. <laughs> In this chapter, it examines the details, the creation and assignment of IP networks and subnetwork addresses through the use of subnet mask. Guys, in an Ethernet local area network, devices use broadcast to locate first the other devices. It is a device uses address resolution protocol which sends layer 2 broadcast to a known IP before address on the local network to discover associated MAC address. Second is services. It is a host typically acquires its IP before address configuration using dynamic host configuration protocol or DHCP which sends broadcasts on the local network to locate a DHCP server. Guys, did you know the difference between switches and routers? Mm, in switches, it propagates broadcasts at all interfaces except the interface on which it was received while in routers it is do not propagate broadcast when a router receives a broadcast it does not forward it out other interfaces guys ipv4 subnet mask are created by using one or more of the host bits as network bits. This is done by extending the subnet mask to borrow some of bits from the host portion of the address to create additional network bits. The more host bits that are borrowed, the more subnets that can be defined guys this is the formula to calculate the number of subnets that can be created from the bits borrowed and is means equal to bits borrowed why this is the another formula to calculate the number of hosts that can be supported and means the number of bits remaining in the host fields guys when borrowing bits from a slash 16 address start borrowing bits in that third octet going from left to right borrow a single bit at the time until the number of bits necessary to create 100 subnets is rich and guys to calculate the number of hosts each subnet on support examine the third and fourth octet after borrowing seven bits for the subnet the one host bit remaining in the third octet and eight host bits remaining in the fourth octet for a total of eight bits that were not borrowed <laughs> Did you know guys that there are two considerations when planning subnets? First, the number of host addresses required for each network. Second, 
the number of individual subnets needed. So, the table in the figure displays the specific for subnetting a slash 24 network. So, notice guys how there is an inverse relationship between the number of subnets and the number of hosts. The more bits borrowed mm, to create subnets, the fewer host bits available. If more host addresses are needed, more, more host bits are required, resulting in fewer subnets. <laughs> Network administrator, it is the one that must devise the network addressing scheme to accommodate the maximum number of hosts for each network and the number of subnets. The addressing scheme should allow for growth in the what the number of hosts address per subnet and the total of number of subnets. In using traditional subnetting, it is the same number of addresses is allocated for each subnet. If all the subnets have the same requirements for the number of hosts, this fixed size address lack would be efficient. In BLSM or variable length subnet mask, it is subnetting that is similar to traditional subnetting in that bits are borrowed to create subnets. The formulas to calculate the number of hosts per subnet and the number of subnet created still apply. Did you know guys that there are three planning address allocation? First, we have preventing the application of addresses. It refers to the fact that each host in an internet work must have a unique address. Second, we have providing and controlling access. It refers to the fact that same hosts such as servers provide resources to internal hosts as well as to external hosts. Third, we have monetary security and performance. It means network traffic is examined for secure IP addresses that are generating or receiving excessive packets. So in network topology basic subnets, we have 25 hosts in router 1, 20 hosts in router 2, 15 hosts in router 3, and 28 hosts in router 4. So guys, I am done in my summary of chapter 8. I hope that those information will help you to understand subnetting IP networks. So, thank you for watching and listening and don't forget to subscribe on my channel, Jess Hakabatay.